What's going on landscapers and outdoor go-getters? We are back here at the shop today and we have a generator that is not running correctly. We have a Harbor Freight Predator generator and the customer states that the generator sounds bad and it's not running very well and it's not making much power. And believe it or not, the particular issue on this unit is pretty easy to fix. So we're gonna go into exactly what it's doing and how to fix it. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the Predator 3500 generator. It's the mobile wheel around unit, and these are pretty common at your local Harbor Freight. And it's a pretty decent generator for the money. So we're gonna start it up so that you can hear what this generator is doing. It does start and it does run, but it runs funny. It's running like it's just got no power and like it's choking out. So here we go, we're gonna start it up. choking out and if you listen really closely when I turn the machine off listen not sure if the camera picked that up but you can hear it almost sounds like an air or whistle kind of noise coming out of the exhaust well believe it or not what is wrong with this machine is it literally is choking out the exhaust fire arrester, they call it, it's pretty much like a little screen. It's completely plugged up. And you can kind of see how black it is, which is normal. It's the exhaust, so it's gonna get dirty. But over time, these things get clogged up with carbon and it will actually not let the exhaust escape the muffler and will cause the unit to run badly, just like this unit is doing. So we're gonna go into how to repair it pretty easy you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver you're gonna to need to take out these six Phillips screws and then this little panel will come off and then we'll go from there all right we got all the Phillips screws out so this is just gonna come off like so we're gonna lay that to the side and then you're gonna see the arrester. You have two screws right here. It looks like they are 5 16 or an eight millimeter will also work. So we're gonna get a socket for this and then we're gonna remove this guy. All right, 5 16 does work. I'll take those out. There we go. And then, this might be a little warm. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. So we're gonna pull this out. This is the arrester. And just like I figured, if you look at that, it's completely clogged up. So what we're gonna do now, it's gonna be a bit loud because we don't have the arrester in it, but we're gonna start the machine and see if it runs properly if it does, then we know that's our problem, but I've been around the block once or twice and I can guarantee you that this is our problem. So to fix this, basically you can buy a new one or you can clean this one. You can cl usually clean these things with uh, a torch. You can heat them up and it will actually burn the carbon off. Um, sometimes you can soak them in like a carburetor cleaner and that will dissolve the carbon and clean them up as well. Um, you could always throw it away. However, I don't recommend that. 
um, only because these are designed to catch the sparks that comes out of the muffler if one does decide to come out of the muffler and it reduces the chance of having like wildlife fires and stuff like that so that is why they are on the muffler in the first place but let's see if this thing will run correctly now without it installed all right we're going to start it up like i said it is going to be a little bit louder without the arrester oh yeah There you go. Purrs like a kitten now. So there you have it. Generator runs perfectly like it should. This is a very simple fix. And I can't tell you how many times people will start throwing money at something like this. They'll go buy in carburetors, take it to a repair shop, yada, 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 spend you know, $100, $200 on getting it fixed or trying to get it figured out when it's that tiny little issue right there that you can fix at home. So again, clean that thing up. You'll be good to go. If you're in a pinch and you need to run it, you know, you can use it like this. However, it's not recommended. There you go. Pretty easy fix on the Predator generator from Harbor Freight. Not a big deal at all. Also, don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you're just stopping in, Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, give the video a thumbs up. Also comment down below if this video helped you out or if you have an issue on a particular unit yourself, maybe we can help you out in the comment section. But until then, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.